Hey YouTube, I'm gonna do a quick video on this because uh, I've had my own issues and I just wanna state for the record that I am not a professional. I have just done this shit on my own and learned as I went. But just diagnosing electrical issues. So if you ever have a camper and you're hooked to power and the power doesn't work, there's ways to go about it. Uh, the, the quick and dirty is this. If you have a, a voltmeter check the end of your power cord when it's hooked to electricity if you have uh, power to both uh, you should well depending on how it's set up 30 amp 50 amp I'm just talking specifically about 50 amp you should have two two uh, hot leads so you should have two one two different 120s uh, come through so if that's correct then you've got power coming to the camper the next problem is diagnosing why you don't have power in the camper so I've had two different campers have this issue so if you don't know, and I had to take this out so I can actually get to it. Usually they're motherfuckers to get to because that was underneath all that shit back there. So the other thing is, this is a power transfer switch. They're magnetized. This is obviously hot, so I'm not going to touch it. But when the electricity hits, it magnetizes, or it, it, the electrical current magnetizes this, drops it, completes the circuit, allows the electric, electricity to come up into the camper. So, if you can get to your uh, transfer switch and pull it out, you can also test your, your red and black, your hots, to see if you have 120 coming to that. If you do, then it's probably in your breaker box inside your camper itself. Uh, the other thing to know, and this is important, if you have a thermostat in your camper and you're doing AC, or you're using your AC and your converter, your battery goes dead, your thermostat will not work even if you have power going to your camper. So how you check that or fix that is you have a converter which charges your battery and they run off fuses. So the first thing to check if you think your converter is not working is check the fuses. Should be, depending on how what the size is, you should have like one, two, three, 30 amp fuses. Check and see if those blew before you even worry about replacing it. If the uh, if those fuses are still intact, then your converter is probably bad. So, just FYI, no power going to your uh, camper, check the power cord first, check the power transfer switch second, and if that's running up to your camper, then it could be your breaker main whatever whatever is not working if nothing's working in the camper it could be your main breaker in your breaker box um if you're if you have power but let's say your ac's not working on your thermostat then your battery's probably already drained dead so check your converter and make sure that it is providing a charge to your battery i know this is a super exciting video you're welcome well, let's see here And then, like I said, check your breaker box, check your fuses, make sure nothing nothing else is going, going wrong, going bad. But again, DC, which is off your battery, DC power, runs your thermostat. So if your battery goes dead, then you can no longer run your AC, even if you do have power. So just FYI, that's, hopefully this is a cogent and coherent, uh, video to explain how to fix certain things uh, electrical wise on your camper. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I just stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Thank you and good day, sirs and gents and ladies and such.